Hey, hi friends. So myself Arthur and uh, working as Oracle DB consultant. So today we are going to perform activity of golden gate in which we will perform initial load from source to target and even we will create extract pump and replicate for a particular table which is actually exist in a schema. So let's start the activity. So this is my source server. So first I need to check that database is running or not and you see here database name aura db1 is running fine now check the status of listener also and listener is also running okay now go to the target server and just check database is running or not here you see that database name of source and target both are different i'll just check the listener services and listener is also running okay now now just go to source server and log in into the database so i am going to create a new user okay and uh, we'll create a table within a user and then we'll replicate extract and pump the particular table from source to target now just create a new table like grant dba to name is fahad and identified by uh, password also fahad so we create a table sorry user name as fahad and uh, his password is also fahad with a dba privilege so in real time scenario don't try to create a user with a dba privilege okay because this is my local system so i'm giving any privilege okay now uh let's connect with a user let's connect here now check the user username is paha now i'm going to create a table okay uh within this user you can say schema so let's create a table I'm doing this all activities on our source side, not target side. Okay. Now let's create a table. The table is created. Now let's insert some data into the table. So I'm inserting around 1.5 lakh rows in the same table and table name is Atahar. Okay, now check the count of the table. It shows 1.5 lakh rows. Okay, now go to the target side login into the database and create the same user here also and let's connect with the user or you can say schema and then just need a table no need to insert any data because we will perform initial load and insert or you can say replicate data from source to target now check the count here also so there are no data in the same table but the source side there are 1.5 lakh rows inserted in the same table now we are going to perform initial load and uh, load the data as same as source to the target let's log in with the user name as g admin g admin is actually a you can say a admin user of this golden gate like sysdba is an admin user for a database same ggadmin is a user which is actually perform activities 
in this Golden Gate prompt. You see here that uh, manager process is running, okay, and uh, even like some extract pump also running to the basically on the source side. Okay. Now uh, we are going to perform initial load, so let's start the initial load activity. So I'm going to create a parameter file, okay. So edit is a parameter file. File name is load1. You can see this is actually a process name, load1. And just mention here extract load is a load process name, user ID, ggadmin, password, ggadmin also. Remote host. So we are going to basically start the load from source to target so remote host is 192.168.239.5 and the port number is 7809 okay and remote task is replicate and group name is load2 so load2 is a replicate name basically this is also a like process which will create basically i will create this on target side okay and table name is atahar and uh, schema name is fahad now just save this extract if you check this extract will not show here now now go to target side okay so this is the target side and info all sorry just log into database And then it from load two, and just mention these things in the same replicate. Replicate next process name, user ID. Assume target definition. This will actually uh, this parameter will impact that the definition of source and target both are same. So mapping I'm mapping the user dot table name and the target is also user. With the same table name. If you want, you can change the schema name also. So uh, here I'm going to show you only by same user ID and same table, same schema and same table basically. Okay. Now, now I just go to source and uh, just add extract load one source is table. So basically, we basically mentioned that sources table is actually uh, we are going to extract or pull data directly from table. Okay, I'm not going to get any pump directly from a table. Just add it now, and then just go to target and just mention add replicate load with a special run because we are going to just start the initial load. And then once data is basically uploaded to target side, then automatically both process will stop. Okay. And then we are going to start the load one. And if you see here info load one, it is actually starting. And if you see here info load two, it will automatically start it. Right now it is stopped. No issue. It is running now. It is also running now. See here. So replicate automatically started. Okay. And uh, once data has been uploaded to source to target, this process will stop automatically. So see, record is increasing. Earlier it was one. Right now it is increasing. See here. And also running best way just check the count of the table see a little word zero on target side but right now it is 1.5 like now i think so that initial load stop 
maybe let me check yes it stopped even if you see on source side it also stopped so basically i uh, loaded the data or i basically created an initial load so that perform the load from source to target and now data of source and target both are same now let's start the let's get the extract form and replicate for the particular table table name is adhar okay so we perform initial load activity now we will start the create or you can say create extract form and replicate for the particular table and table name is adhar this is my source server so i am going to show you so edit from ab txt is a process name and i am going to mention extract name set environment uh, like oracle home location and uh, uh, oracle sd also with uh, user id and password and i am going to ext extract trail location is uh, golden gate ogg code and dr directory that and uh, ab even like discard file also the size of discard file maximum is 500 megabytes and uh, report count every 5 minutes and trail log option db log reader it means like we will uh, extract data directly from our reader log files not from a archive files okay and then we are going to save this and uh, now just Let me log in first. Let's log in now. Now let's uh, one more time. Hit param. Just check. Yes. Cool now. Now just. Uh, at the extract abtbxt and log begin now and then uh, the trail location of this extract process is actually uh, oracle golden gate home location and dir that and this is a ab by the name of ab okay and uh, we are at the extract extra location also now we are going to create a pump so Add extract and pump name is AB pump. Uh, basically, the use of pump is uh, uh, like pump the data from source to target directly. Okay, let's add it now. Now, edit param and pump also to mention more parameters here also. And uh, just uh, right here, extract. Okay, pump environment. Pass through remote host is a remote uh, like target IP and a remote trail location the trail location of your target not source okay and manager port number table name is Fahad and Atahar. Before this, let's do one more thing like add a schema trend data of Fahad. Schema trend data. For her, we'll tell later about this in our in my next session that why we do this actually. Okay, so uh, I'm going to skip this right now. Okay, now so just check the pump again and extract AB pump set env pass through the school and now just save this and uh, now I'm going to add a remote trail location of the you can see pump added now remote trail locations where you basically a uh, trail file of remote target server okay and uh, by the help of pump okay and then just go to target okay and then add replicate done now now in fall and start 
first start the extract. But we have to add it from replicate file. We have to get the replicate file, replicate file also. Uh, now in replicate, I am going to mention. See, uh, basically, uh, I trigger a command add a schema trend data uh, by the name of schema. Okay, schema trend data. So I am not going to mention any table name. So automatically, whatever table name it will replicate from source to target. Okay, and handler collisions as on target definitions, and then uh, size of discard file map from source to target. And save this now. Let's start extract process. Let's start replicate process. Sorry, and it wall. See, this is running now. And go target side, start pump also. Sorry, replicate also. And you will see this is running now. So, if you see here, the RB account of this is not increasing okay but here you see rb account is actually 2276402 now i need to check extract pump and replicate all are running fine or not so currently rb account is 2276402 now let's insert some data into the same table and see that data is replicate on target side or not okay so exit from here now check the username. Sorry, show user. Show user. Username is Fahad. Now let's insert some data. Okay. So I am going to insert 1.5 lakh more data into the same table. Okay. Okay, done now. Now check the count. Three lakh. So click here. See, RB account is increasing now. Earlier it was zero. Now it is increasing. Now just check the count of table. Point four lakh. It is increasing. Two point six. Two point six five. So data is replicated very, you know, in a proper manner way, even fast also. Now see here that both data are same count. Now we understand that our extract, pump, and replicate. Both are running fine with all the configuration. So in coding it, basically this is used for replicate a data from source to target. Okay, you can replicate only table, you can replicate only column, you can replicate whatever you want. This there are some multiple customized options in Golden Gate. So thanks for watching this video. Thanks a lot.